Hello everybody! Welcome to the first of my weekly videos. This is the Jack Pittman channel. I also have a Jack Pittman Nika channel. The Jack Pittman Nika channel is all about Nicaragua, whereas this channel is basically about whatever I want to make a video about. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about why I stopped drop shipping. On this channel, obviously, you know I used to dropship. It was how I originally got into YouTube. For me personally, dropshipping was a stepping stone. Why did I start dropshipping? I started because I wanted freedom. I was scared. I was living in the US and I saw how expensive everything is and how much people worked and how miserable people are and how lost they are. And I was like, wow, this looks like a really bad place for me in my future. So I'd had like better paying jobs, but then I'd gotten really sick, I was miserable, I had the life. You know, I was living with someone I had, I had a relationship with, I, I had everything. I had a car and I had access to a whole house even though I was just renting a room and it was miserable. Like, I worked all the time, I worked like 10, 11 hour days, I, I didn't have much time for myself or my hobbies or my interests. I had to take drugs to be able to work so much because in the US it's like, oh, drugs are bad, but if you want to do drugs so you can work more, yeah, do it, do it. So I was on Vyvanse and amphetamines and I, I, was, I learned a lot at the job I had and I was being paid okay, but it was not sustainable. Uh, I, was, I was sacrificing so much of myself for other people. And that, that made me miserable. So these are the circumstances that dropshipping aroused, arised from. It gave me a chance to be like, whoa, I can earn money in a different way. And then ended up coming to Nicaragua. And that was the point where my life had really changed. Dropshipping earns money, but it earns money by making products more expensive for the end user. To stay ahead of the competition, you have to be very creative, you have to be very aware, and you have to be very challenging of yourself to constantly be ahead of everybody. You're competing with millions of people. I want to work and earn money doing things that I feel actually bring value to the customers and to the people. My philosophy of business, so first you identify skills that you either have already grown or are growing already in a way that other people don't do it as much, right? And then you use that skill to create products and services that solve problems that people have, okay? Drop shipping is not solving anyone's problems. It's solving your money problem and that's it. It's like, there is no way that you can convince me that us charging 40, 50% more for something someone could just order on Amazon or Walmart, there is no way that's building value to the customer. Like. Yeah, you can say, oh, it's a sale, yeah, you know, they didn't know they could order it from Amazon. It's like, yeah, okay, well, fucking tell them they can order it from Amazon then if you, like, then you're building value for the customer, you know what I mean? So, like, I get it, drop shipping when it works, is quick and easy money. The problem is, though, it's not going to fix your problems. It's not going to fix the things that caused you to suffer. And if you're not careful, earning more money can actually get you deeper into suffering. And that's what I learned. That's why I don't focus on money anymore. Because back then, before I came to Nicaragua, yeah, I thought it was more important. But then I met all these people with money and they have so many problems. Like, they had just as many problems as the people I grew up with in the US who were like babied and had a bunch of material but were kind of poor and stuff. Like, they had all the same problems. I met all these people who travel the world and are really wealthy and can do whatever they want and have retired by the age of 30 and all this crap and most of them were no more happy than anybody else. And dropshipping's kinda like that. Yeah, it'll get you the money. 
But if you're not careful, it's going to put you in habits that stop you from developing skills that can get you not just money, but networking. Because networking is everything. Like it is the single skill that dominates all skills is networking. You don't have to be good at anything if you are good at networking. It's, life is all about who you know. You can literally make a life that's unfair for yourself just by knowing two or three people. So skills and networking are everything. I stopped drop shipping because of my understanding of what I needed out of my future to really be happy. I don't want to be like, oh, I'm going to have to fucking figure out some new thing because eBay is going to change their policy and then we're going to have to oh, go over to Facebook and then something's going to happen there and then we're going to have to go over to, I don't know, fucking Etsy or some other new thing. And it's like you have to do so much work to stay ahead of everybody that if you had just put that work into your own product or service, you'd make way more money over like three or four years, and it's way more sustainable. So dropshipping is huge quantities of work, and that's ultimately why I stopped. It's not worth it for me. Dropshipping isn't bad, but it, it doesn't develop a product for you. It doesn't use your skills. And if you want something sustainable, if you want to be able to do what you're doing and earn money from it for 10 years, 20 years, if you want to teach your children how to do what you do and feel good about it, then you must make products and services that solve people's problems using your skills. There is no other way. There is no formula that will work for everybody. And there's only a few things that you can do that you'll feel good about 10 or 20 years from now. So focus on what are the things you can do every day that develop your skills because this makes you much more useful to other people. Uh, I do consultations for $20 per 30 minutes. You can find the link in the top of this description. So that's a whole other business model, actually. I may as well explain that to you because it's the alternative to drop shipping for me personally. Basically, I make YouTube content about specific things and I make kind of long, really informative videos totally for free that empower people, okay? And then I have a paid portion where if the person wants to talk to me about the information in the videos, it's $20 per 30 minute session. And this model, this business model, can be applied to literally any interest you have. So I, I'm, I'm mostly using it for teaching people how to make macros and also living in Nicaragua, right? But you, you could do it for whatever you're interested in. It's a very flexible model. All you need to do is be able to create a really, really useful YouTube video that is talking about things other people charge for, that is just packed with information, no paywalls, nothing, just pure value. And then in that video, you say that you have consultations and you can train people and your actual time is paid, okay? This model works really well because you don't have to focus on advertising. All you have to do is keep making YouTube videos because as long as you keep making videos, you'll keep getting consultations. So this works awesome because most of the time when you're working on income streams, you have to do a lot of marketing. Everything is marketing. If you want to make money selling courses, you don't need to make good courses. In fact, all you need is to market expensive courses and you'll make good money. Your courses need to be 700, 800, $1,000. And then you can be like 50% off only $500. And you'll make more money from that. 
Um, that's just the reality. If you want to spread information, it's not profitable. It's much more profitable to trick people into thinking that what you have packaged together is unfindable on the internet. Um, but in my opinion, it's all bullshit. Like I, I love making courses, but I truly believe the best way to make a course is to just put it for free on YouTube and then monetize your time. Because otherwise, you're gonna make all this content and nobody's gonna can watch it. Like, I hated that shit about Udemy. I can make a YouTube video, like this one, right? Ranting to you guys about stuff. This video will get more view time than most of my Udemy courses I've made. It, when you make courses, if you don't do marketing, nobody will watch them. And literally, even if you do marketing, people will pay. They'll pay $1,000 for your course and then fucking watch the first lesson and stop. It's like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's like totally ridiculous, right? So that's it. I ranted you guys a little bit. Gave you an alternative business model based on your own skills, making valuable YouTube videos, and then monetizing your time as consultation out of that. And yeah, that's why I stopped dropshipping. Ultimately, I like YouTube a lot more and I want to be able to do something that I truly believe I'm empowering people to live a better life. And that is, like, I was only able to do that drop shipping because I brought information to you guys so you could live better lives by essentially marking products up and charging customers more for them. But I always knew that that's what's happening, right? I'm not, we're not really making people's lives better by selling things drop shipping. They're, that's just not a thing. Like, you're, you're not making people's lives better. Uh, it's just how it is. So, YouTube is a much better way for me personally. And that is why I stopped dropshipping. All right, guys. Uh, I do consultations for $20 per 30 minutes. You can find the link in the top of this description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.